Perfect. One more rhyme for old times' sake. The master was slain within his own house. They dined on him both, the cat and the mouse. The hammer is yours. You will find yourself in Orpheus's presence before the end comes. When you do, shatter the chains that hold him. Be sure to keep the hammer safe. Until then, your survival depends on it. And I'll keep your contract safe in my house of hope. I'll be seeing you, and when I do, we dine. The ink has barely dried, yet you feel a growing disquiet at what exactly you just signed. Perhaps a Diabolus can offer some comfort, or a way out. For a devil's bargain is a hard one to break. I'm encumbered because I have what the hand. There it is. Five to seventeen damage. Mm. Can be thrown. <laughs> okay. Here you go, Carl. Like, hold on to that for me. Nine to eighteen damage. Yes. Okay. That'll do. Let's see what Carl like, wants to say. You had half a brain. How wrong I was. You signed a deal with Raphael. What were you thinking? Um, we need this hammer. I did what I had to do. Because why would the devil ever lie to you? Uh, it was the only way to get what we needed. I made the sacrifice and I'd do it again. It wasn't the only way. It was the only way Raphael told you about. He just wanted to get you under his thumb. And it worked. As long as he has that contract, he owns you. I won't allow that. Um, and what do you want to do about it? We're getting that contract back. You heard him, right? It's in his God's awful house of hope. We need to find a way in. I swore I'd never return to the hells. But for your soul, I'll make an exception. Just this once. We need to find a diabolist. If we can find one worth their salt, they should be able to get us into that devil's lair. I'm getting in, getting your contract, and then I'm never setting foot in the hells again. Cool. I'd sooner have imagined shattering a planet with my bare fist than taking a deal with a devil. But we shouldn't regret the bargain, not for one instant. Raphael can have his crown if it means breaking Prince Orpheus free. I think Lizelle's a little blinded by the fact that she wants Prince Orpheus out. A lot of her teachings, I think, when they grow up, made her very uh, single minded. Um, can we just Raphael that off a camera could be worthless? You're right to question. Devils are slippery creatures. They twist their tongues into knots to convince you a rock pile was mithril. Ask Will. He knows that better than anyone. Yeah, but a broker true. is as bound by his contract as his buyer. The hammer must be real, or Raphael could never have the crown. Now, to the Charesse's caress tap room. We must tell Voss the news. Um, okay. So, escape the devil. If we get into the House of Hope and destroy our contract, that would be, that would void the deal. So somehow, we need to get in there. I wonder how we do that. Raphael's still here, though. I thought I'd lost you. Something was blocking me from hearing your thoughts. Uh, I know I was worried. Me too. It's 
concerning that something could come between us like that. Especially when we are so close to the Elder Brain. Do you have any idea what it was? Uh, deception. It was the Elder Brain. Performance. Pretend to be clueless. 25. Oh, it's okay. I'll just succeed. I'll critical succeed. No problem. You didn't feel it. Then perhaps my protection. But I was sure. Never mind. We must press on. I will bolster your mental defenses and make sure this doesn't happen again. Thanks. Uh, okay. So. Now where do we need to go down here? Oh no, it's locked. Ah, oh, over here. Oh, wait, where is he? Here he is. Voss, friend to the comet. Lazel of Kalir, warrior of warriors. Tell me you took the devil's deal. Tell me you will free Gith's heir. Throw him the hammer. The hammer? How can it be that you came to possess it? Was it Raphael? The prince of the comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from the Lich Queen's tyranny. Can it be? Will the mighty Prince Orpheus soon illuminate the astral plane? Gith's son will soon ride against Flakith, Voss. And I will follow him into battle. And you will wield the greatest gift Mother Gith ever granted her dauntless children. A silver sword. I will carry it for the honor of Gith, the great liberator, and her unforgotten son. Istik, now that you have the hammer, you must find a way to enter the astral prism. Once inside, smash Orpheus's bonds. His cry will shake the plains, and I will fly to your aid. The prince of the comet will sear the heavens again. Let the Lich Queen tremble! Think again. I will not permit your entry. Um, <clears throat> is there any way I can convince you? No, there is not. Okay, simple enough. Questions, Istic? You seem to be lost in thought. Um, Orpheus sends the tadpole before and his guard attacks. Won't he attack if we free him? The Prince of the Comet aches for Gith Yankee liberation more than he abhors Gaich. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name. But he will see reason. I promise you. There's something. Um, getting into the Astral Prism will be complicated. Yes. But you will meet this challenge, as you've met so many others. Leave. <laughs> oh, reward. The Silver Sword of the Astral Plane. Wow. Okay, okay. The Great Sword, two handed. The Githborn Psionic Weapon. I mean, first of all, it does 7 to 25 damage, which is nice. When wielded by a Githyanki, this weapon deals an additional 1 to 6 psychic damage. Okay. Githborn psychonic, uh, psionic resistance. Githyanki holding this weapon has advantage on intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws, resistance to psi uh, psionic, uh, psychic damage, and cannot be charmed. Wow. But it has to be Githyanki that holds it, otherwise it doesn't work. Oh, jeez, look at that thing. This thing is huge. It's cool, though. Very cool. 
I'm a little bit sad that it's a Gith Yankee only weapon. But, um, yeah, here we are. I've got a long road ahead. Since I was old enough to hold a blade, I've dreamt of wielding a silver sword. The swords cleave both meat and mind, body and brain. To swing one, mesmerizing. To be slain by one, agonizing. Everyone I bleed with the sword will be my tribute to Prince Orpheus. Uh, history. Think on how on your knowledge of Githyanki silver swords, what details did Lizelle miss? Ah, uh, do you see 18? Oh yeah, no, not happening today. Lazel gave a thorough description. You can't think of more you would add. <laughs> would the sword be enough to break? Uh, no. What makes the silver sword so special? A Kithrak silver sword is more than a weapon. It is an extension of your will, an entire limb unto itself. You merely need to think strike, and it strikes. The sword carves the correct path and carries your arm with it. The ancient slates tell us that each sword holds a fragment of the living gate, a flesh portal made from the stuffs of nightmare. The terrible living gate, thinner than a lamb's hair and hidden deep beneath the Feywild. The silver injures the body, the gate's flesh injures the mind, a formidable weapon against Gaeth. Anyhow, yeah, they despise the, the, the Gaeth or the, the Mind Flayers, yet they use a lot of the very psionic based or very psychic based individuals. And it's frustrating now because I'm using her as ranged, so this melee sword's kind of going to waste on her, but. I mean, what else am I supposed to do, right? Okay. So, is there any more evidence I can find for this open hand temple? Uh, I'm not quite sure what I should be doing, if I should be doing anything. There's nothing down here, is there? Up there, Gentleman's dancing axe. The Harper safe house Jahira mentioned. He told me the armor was a bomb. Oh. Where was she talking? Up here? Calms, calms. Yeah. A hero is nothing without the right equipment. See Danthalon's dancing axe for all your adventuring needs. Welcome to Danthalon's dancing axe. Our stock isn't Greetings, new. sir. Your noble bearing brings a little class to my humble establishment. How may I be of service? Jahira sent me. I'm to meet some harpers here. Harpers? I am afraid I serve a grubbier class of clientele than that. More chancers than champions, if you take my meaning. Present company excluded, I'm sure. No, I don't know any, uh, Jahira, was it? Maybe I need to, uh, bring her. Stop lying, Jahira's been known to feed people, uh, truth herbs. Clothras. I know the taste all too well. <laughs> you too, I'd wager. Fine, yes. You have the right place. But where's the leaf flicker herself? Uh, elsewhere, but she trusts me with this. She wouldn't have revealed this place otherwise, which makes you one of the rare breed she does trust. Here's the key. Hey. The others are below, and... Bearing bad news by the looks of it. Uh, before that, is the time to trade? Always. Nice. Time to make some money. Or at least try and make some money. I received a rusty key. Lovely.
Ein Häuf. Ups. At least this guy actually has some money. Githyanki, great sword. Don't sell that rubbish. And this rubbish. And this rubbish. We don't get very good deals for a lot of this stuff. Okay, what does he actually have? Anything good? Gauntlets of the War Monster. Knighted maneuver targets have disadvantage on saving throws against your maneuver and weapon attacks, plus one attack. Horns of the Berserker, very rare. Seeking below, you gain plus two bonus to attack rolls when attacking creatures that have already taken damage. <clears throat> Bloodthirst, unarmed and melee attacks will gain an additional, well, will deal an extra two necrotic damage. As long as you don't have your, uh, as long as you don't have your full health. If you don't deal any damage this turn, you take one to four necrotic damage at the end of your turn. Oh my word. That sounds awful. Bright bringer. Four to twelve. But it's, I think it's because it's a a bow. It, it's a dexterity based normally, right? Yeah, I mean, no, Harold is really good, but doesn't do that much damage anymore. But now with this Sword of the Astral Plane, it's kind of frustrating because it does a lot of damage. But then I would have three melee characters, which... I don't know. don't think it's going to work too well. Okay, so what else do we have? Psychonic Resistance. Snow-dusted Monastery Gloves. Your on-arm attacks deal 1 to 4 cold damage, and you get knife, Ice Knife as a skill. Ooh, Cloak of Displacement. At the beginning of the wearer's turn, the cloak activates, granting the uh, enemy's disadvantage on attack rolls that target the wearer. Uh. Now, does this apply every single turn? I know it says this effect lasts until the wearer takes damage. Then does it reapply afterwards? Oh, wow, rare heavy armor. 19 armor class. You take one less piercing damage, right? Gain a plus one bonus to strength saving throws and checks. Um, what do I have on at the minute? 18 Helldusk. Flawed Helldusk armor. This offers more AC. More AC is good. Whenever you're hit by a foe within two meters, they take one. To, it might take one to four. Take one less piercing damage. So this one should be better. You want the same, the same thing, but I get I gain a plus one strength bonus. The same in throws and checks. And I get more AC. Which is kind of nice. Rare heavy armor. Only 18 AC though. Oh, rare clothing. Um, while using patient defense. You also benefit from the effects of Blade Ward. It was patient defense. So condition. Focus on avoiding attacks. Interesting. While using Step of the what of the Wind, which is uh, jumping no longer requires a bonus action. This is for like a, a monk, I think, right? It's almost definitely for a monk. Other than that, though, I mean, this Cloak of Displacement looks pretty good, and maybe this armor looks good, too. It'd be nice if I could see it on my character, too, what it looks like. But I think I might take that. I mean, how much is this? 3,000? I would. First of all, I'm going to buy that. Short father, bless you. Right, son. Uh, what does this do? So now this gives me one straight armor class and one saving throw, so... Displacement. Passive feature at the beginning of the wearer's turn. And it grants disadvantage. So... I 
I drop AC to, to one, to by one. Actually works because I can give her more AC. Now, because I don't really want to spend this money if it's garbage. Unless you're buying, then he can wait till this all falls down. I want to try this. That's a lot of money to spend. A pleasure. That's what it looks like. It's terrible. But this one looks great, in my opinion. But this does give me... Yeah, I don't like the way this one looks so much. But... It does give me my, my AC back. Yeah, no. Does give me my AC back. How much money do I have now? 5k, 1k, 1k, that's 6, 7k, 8k, almost 9,000, maybe just about 9,000. Okay, it's not terrible. Well, shit, it's like take, take stock of what I have. What is, I mean, what is this? Oh, it's the telekinesis stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, probably do this over here. Um, yeah, I mean, certainly one way to do it like this. Oh. Send it to camp for now. We'll roll with it. You are not Jihira. Now you are very observant. I. I was hoping to greet the High Harper beneath Salona's tears. You have the lad a little nervous. You're the one toppled Ketherick out in the Shadowlands, no? Goaldus isn't nervous. He's terrified. And he's using Salona's tears as some kind of code. No, really? Probe the halfling's thoughts. This could be a terrible idea. Nope, turned out to be a great idea. <laughs> Stare at me. Study me. This Harper's face bores me. Perhaps I'll steal yours next. Um, okay. Strike before the doppelgangers do. Um, oh, I have no health. I should not be doing this. Well, she means she can't reach the destination. Girl can fly. But you didn't see that coming, did you, doppelgangers? Now, the problem is, Lysel would be great for melee now. But I just don't know if I have any that many melee characters. Soulbreaker, 15 to 30 damage. Oh, my word, that's so good. I love the fact that we can fly too, it's, it's even better. 
Oh, damn. And a stunt, too. Love it. Here comes my thunderer. Oh, right there. Destructive wrath. Mentally fatigued them all. Absolutely lovely. Hit me with a... Beautiful. Alrighty. I had this placement on a second ago. I wonder what happened to it. I oh, think of these two. These two are done. Bonk for you. Critical miss for you, apparently. Lucky day. I came and then push him down. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> oh, hello. Lazel. Good job, Lazel. Can't even catch my breath. Oh. Let's hit him with another one. Beautiful. How many has she brought to Baal's side, I wonder? Uh, you won't have to wear those Harper smiles much longer. Orin has given the order. Kill the crone, but not before you tell her how her little soldiers died. Okay. Thank, thank you. No thanks necessary. Are you hurt? I'm alive. That's more than the others can say. You're... You're the one High Harper Jahira sent. I am. I'm here to help. Oh, thank the gods. You're the first friendly face I've seen in days. Old Danthelon included. The others. They're all dead. Or scattered. Jahira sent word of the victory over Ketherick. Set us hunting after the cultists in the city, but they were the ones hunting us. Things were quiet. Until we started to ask about the Rashomar. Rashima, a native of Rashomon, the far eastern land known for its wild inhabitants and the witches who rule them. Uh, who is Rashima and what does Jahira want with them? I... The High Harper didn't tell you. Uh, perhaps it's not my place. Just tell her this. I can't continue the hunt. Whatever the cult has done with the Rashimar, they do not want him found. Hmm. I think I need to talk to Jahira about this one. Am I? I'm tempted to replace Lysel now with Jahira and have Jahira as one of my other spellcasters. That's what I'm thinking I might do. Because uh, I, I like that idea. Oh my word, we do some dangerous damage now. It's great. Oh, 
heavy chest. Nice, nice. Um, okay. That's good. So, so far I'm interested to see what this does. At the beginning of your turn, wearer's turn, cloak activates, granting them disadvantage on attack rolls. Target the wearer. This effect lasts until the wearer takes damage. Now, I want to see if it happens every turn if I take damage. Or if uh, it's just like once. Let's go to camp. I want to talk to Jahira about some stuff. And um, interest her in a... Interest her in a tasty, tasty tadpole. Oh, Rub the kitty. And Yena, is this the person that... Um, hi. It's me, Yena. Yena. You remember me, right? You yeah, of course I do. You were really nice to me before, and, um, my mum hasn't come back yet. She might come later. I don't think she's coming. Could we maybe stay here? What harm? She's little, won't take up much space, or make much of a dent in our provisions. Of course you can stay. Pick a spot and settle in. Yes! You've got a fire and everything! I can cook really good! Whatever you want! Thank you, thank you! And I must... Oh, wait, wait. oh there's the kitty. I was going to say, I want to pet the kitty. So, please do not leave without me petting the kitty. Ah, uh, what's Will going to complain about? The fact that I uh, decided to take on a, a bargain with the devil? Men, women, children, all barred from entry. Oh no, okay. A damn travesty. A decade ago, Baldur's Gate would have welcomed any and everyone seeking refuge. Who would take in these souls, if not the Jewel of Baldurin? Uh, Baldur's Gate was a safe refuge when I left it. Uh, it must be Gortash's doing. As long as Gortash is in charge, they'll be left shivering at the gates. All part of the plan, of course. Step one, create an army and order it to march on the city. Step two, shut the gates in the name of security. Step three, bask in the applause. Gortash hasn't made Baldur's Gate safe. He's made it a prison. And when his army breaks through, the people will have nowhere to run. To make this city a safe haven, we'll need to bathe Gortash and his allies in their own blood. Um, okay. You must have been furious at your father for throwing him out of the city. No, never. He did the only thing he could. In his eyes, I invited a devil into our midst. I was a fool at best, a traitor at worst. I think I've seen this already. The Grand Duke Ravenguard suffers neither. Do you miss your father? More than you know. The better question is, did he ever miss me? If he did, he missed the Will Ravenguard he once knew, not the hell-touched warlock he returned to. Uh, what do you know about Gortash and Orin? Orin? I'd never heard tell of. But Gortash I know. Or know of, more precisely. A self-styled strategic advisor to Baldur's Gate's peers. A bit player with dreams of a leading role, the way father told it. He had no use for Gortash, and even less for his advice. I don't remember much beyond that. But where these chosen are concerned, I have a suspicion we're about to know more than we'd like. Uh, okay. Where is Jahira? I have a tasty tadpole that she might be interested in taking a snack. I have garbage in my bags. I was going to say, who's the merchant, but it's Withers. Good old Withers. Seriously, where did you hear her hanging out? I was going to say, it's the only count of people in my party, but no, because Asterion is here too. Ah, right there. Hi, hero. So Bell's Chosen is a doppelganger. <sighs> I should not be surprised. 
they have ever been among his favorite servants. Orin is testing you. Either she thinks herself a predator, playing with her food, or she fears what you might do. Good. Once was paranoid, likely to, uh, likely to make a mistake. Exactly. Hmm. The last time I fought doppelgangers, the Balspawn Saravok was using them to subvert the city government, aid his rise to power. But Orin is more predator than politician, I think. She simply wants to make us feel hunted, isolated. Tell the Lordling that Orin is watching. Seems that Gortash and Orin have had a little falling out. We should leverage that. Um, tell her what happened to at the Harp safe house. Um. Uh, okay. Until we know who the false facers are, we cannot trust anyone beyond ourselves. We're isolated. This is this is exactly what Orin wanted. And I was so busy telling you not to take her bait that I scarcely felt the hook in my own mouth. I have not been overly generous with the truth. I came here to learn of the Chosen, true enough. But I set my heart for searching for someone else, too. Tell me, what do you know of a man named Minsk of Rashomon? The name is as familiar as Jahira's own. A hero of the Time of Troubles, who saved the city more than once. Um, there's a, there isn't a Baldarian alive who doesn't know that name. But few know of his fate, I think. I had hoped to keep it that way. Minsk is an old friend. Perhaps my oldest. We fought at one another's backs, times beyond counting. And the last time I saw him, I left him to die. What happened? Before we ever heard of this absolute... We received word of a gathering in the Undercity. What we found was the first dark seed of this plot. A circle of cultists with mind flares in their midst. We might have ended it there, cut off at the root, but before I could send for help, Minsk charged in alone. It was chaos. He was overrun, dragged down beneath a mass of tentacles. I had a choice. Stay and let word of this cult die with us or leave him and live to fight another day. Okay, so you left him. And would again. The world takes much from those who presume to defend it. But sometimes you get to take it back. Infection, indoctrination, eradication. That has been the fate of everyone the cult has captured so far. But it has not been yours. With your help, perhaps it need not be Minsk's either. Then let's find him. As simply as that? For no other reason than that I asked? Hmm. Perhaps you two will get along. Oh, the point is moot without the means to find him. Without the Harpers, we shall have to find another path. I'll have a better idea of what that is once we're through the gates. Seems I need to reacquaint myself with this damned city. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I think I'm gonna put her in my party. I don't, not that I don't, not that I dislike Lizelle. The problem is that she's melee and I have Karlak, me, and now her. I don't think I need that many melee characters. I'd, I'd like more ranged. And what I might do is make her into a, um, a spore druid. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, but first, let's see if we can make yes. a, a tadpole. Oh, can I not make her eat a tadpole if she doesn't join me? Okay. Yeah, that's rubbish. I want these, for sure, before I let her go.
I want those before you go. I understand what this suspicious potion is. I should just drink it. Find out. Send that to camp because we can always sell it later. Um, do I need anything else? She's mainly just got arrow stuff. Send all the supplies to camp too. Bang. Wow, we're almost 10. Almost. Awesome. The rest is just arrow stuff. Oceans. We can have those. I mean, as much as it pains me to let Lysel go, I just can't seem to fit her in. Unless I remake her as something else, you know. Orin be damned. Her bloody fingerprints are all over this city. Wait for me in camp. You believe you can survive without me? I'm not as arguing. There we go. How are these two? Still happy with me? Exceptional. Exceptional. Good. Jahira, hmm. come here. Yes. Join me. As you wish. Noise. Yes. Uh, wait. Tadpole time. Come here. Yes. Oh. Okay, no new options. And uh, maybe we should talk to her, but well, now we're traveling together, I realize I don't know much about you. That speaks well of your taste. I've heard my share of bad ballads about things I never did. If you have questions, ask. Just don't expect my answers to rhyme. <laughs> uh, is it true that you fought the Dead Three before? It was Baal alone we faced in our time. And bad as that was, he had no elder brain for a lapdog then. Help won't come from the history books or from any old tales I can spin you. This is your story to write. <laughs> there. Have I fulfilled my role as your wise and wizened elder? <laughs> yes, yeah, so now eat a tadpole. Please, you're only one of those things. You're not that old, are you? I've passed enough years that counting them is a waste of what remains. Which is to say, yes, I am that old. Is she an elf, though? Uh, I need to ask you something. Ask it. Uh, you mentioned you're something of uh, elithids. More than I would like. In my youth, I was a brief and very much unwilling member of a colony's hive mind. I felt the way they think, saw the world as they do. Foul, unnatural creatures who find the foulness in us and twist it to their will. But then, who am I speaking to? You have far more experience than I. Wait, can she? Uh, it's different this time. The Elder Brain is a slave itself. Oh, my mind is still my own. I plan to keep it that way. I believe you. You remind me of another I knew. Marked by forces beyond their control. The gods can grant power or strip it away. But so long as your will remains, you have the only weapon you need. Uh, you mentioned there might be another way to find Minsk. <sighs> there might be, but... Mm, it's not a path I dread until we must. Let it wait until the city proper. Perhaps I'll have had a better idea by then. So, wait a second. Can she not have... Let me guess. You need something. Oh, yeah, not available. Well, damn. Now that's Been unfortunate. Waiting. Well, certainly waiting. 
Can we give her one look? I have some spare tadpoles here. Just eat, <laughs> just eat this one. Nom um, nom nom. Ah, so that's unfortunate. Actually, that's really unfortunate because <clears throat> because that's unfortunate because. She can't use the illithid powers. The illithid powers, and that's a real shame. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Then maybe... Maybe... We don't do this. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Yeah, sub chosen subclass is... Here we go. Druid of the Spores. Nice. Uh, <clears throat> Halo of Spores. 1 to 1 to 4 Necrotic. Gain 10, 8 temporary hit points and deal an additional 1 to 6 Necrotic damage while you have them. Cast Halo of, Halo of Spores with double damage. Oh, nice. So what spells do I want to give her? Cure Wounds, yep. <clears throat> it's good to have another healer. Gold, uh, good berry. Conjure four magical berries into one of, into, into your or your companion's inventory. Creatures who eat the berry regain one to four hit points. Oh. Okay. Cool. Let's do that. Fairy fire is pretty cool. I mean, pretty much I think I'm gonna go pure druid here, I think. Heat and metal. Ah, oh, that's where they heat up the armor, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lesser restoration I don't really care about. Well at least I don't. Bark skin's quite nice. Protect a creature from attacks, increase its armor class up to sixteen. Oh. What if I have, like, 22 already? <laughs> Does that count? Spike growth. Shape, uh, shape piece of the ground is a hardened spikes. Movement is halved. That's quite cool. She could be a good, um... Oh, she can also do moonbeam. Let's do moonbeam. I like a moonbeam. Wild shape. A new wild shape. Cool. A new cantrip. Don't necessarily need guidance because we have Shadow Heart, right? Make the target more resistant to spell effects and conditions. What is she? Oh, she's wisdom. Okay. Add spells. I think we're still okay with these ones, right? I don't know. Get rid of restoration. Because the problem now is... I'll be able to fly to certain places and she won't be able to get there. Maybe I get an enhanced leap. Uh, kind of like Flaming Sphere would be quite cool. Do we want to focus her into something? Ice knife, holy damage. Mm -hmm. We could try and give her. I think I have. Do I have a. I think I have like spells or items that, that give uh, certain things to fire damage, right? Cold damage would be nice though, maybe with the lightning from Shadowheart might work well. Hmm. Uh, 
Veil of Shadows and Silence. It gives you an only by companions plus 10 bonus to stealth checks. That's quite cool. Maybe we do give her enhanced sleep here, all jokes aside. <laughs> Uh, so I, I think I might have gone wrong. Somewhere. She can't... miss. Huh. Okay. Oh, she could do the call lightning too. Same as, um, Shadowheart. Plant growth. Make weeds burst from the ground and smother the area. Creatures moving through the weeds have their movement halved. Oh, quartered. Quartered. Cool. Mm -hmm. Um. Hmm. None of these spells are actually what I wanted. Stuff like this, I don't know. Yeah, I was, I was, I thought we'd see more Panther, Albert. Ah, here we go. Um. Raise a mildew wet, mold encrusted zombie from a corpse. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's all I need. Pick another spell here. Can I pick stuff that might? Enhance her ability to, uh... You know, d uh... Kind of disrupt. <clears throat> Level 4 spells now. Wow. There's this grasping vine. Summon a giant vine capable of dragging creatures towards itself. Conjure a minor elemental. A wall of fire. Olimorph. <laughs> Transforms him into a harmless sheep. Oh, stone skin. Turn a character's flesh hard as stone. It takes only half damage from all non magical bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. Conjure a woodland bing. Conjure Dryad. Dryad, sorry. To fight alongside you, she can use Nature's Step, Entangle, uh, Entangle Enemies, and Summon a Woodwode. I think in keeping with her um, spell cast, like Summoner, maybe we can have her with summoning these as well. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, we get another spell. I mean, Summon of Vine's kind of cool as well, actually. I think we want to give her 20 wisdom at this point. Level 5 spells too. Look at this. Target an otherworldly creature and attach its consciousness to your own. Lay in a binding. Oh, here we go. Conjure, uh... Conjure Elemental, so it's a greater version of it. What's this? Insect Plague. 
but locusts attack everyone in, within range, making uh, make the area difficult terrain and impose disadvantage. Wow. Cool mass wounds, I think, would be great here. Uh, raise a wall of non-magical solid stone. I was a conjure. Uh, hmm. What do we think? Locusts? Like, uh, insect plague sounds fun. Let's get us some gear, don't I? For sure. Look at all this stuff. She has loads. She got animate dead as well. Water elemental, fire, earth. Cool, cool. <laughs> Mud methods. <laughs> cool. Wow, two. Looking ahead. Awesome. This might get a bit ridiculous. This ought to be good. But it's actually pretty cool. Oh, look at that. This one now gains 36 temporary hit points. Wow. What's this? Your staff or club becomes magical. Oh. Okay. And she gets the wild shape too, which is cool. Oh, here's the woodland being. Can she just have all of these things? This is great. Oh, wow. Oh, hey, cool. It's right. It looks great. Hey there. How are you doing? Hmm. Maybe I should have been a spore druid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, she could do good berries. What is this? Toggleable passive feature. Alter the terrain around, around you, allowing nearby allies in the area to travel with ease. Oh. Cool. Oh, and she gets spike growth. Fallen lover. Someone of Woodward bound to your tree to fight alongside you. So I now have some inception. So I have a summoner that's summoning something that's summoning something else. Okay. I think things got a little crazy. The Woodward regains 10 hit points of... Uh, if it walks through a fine surface. Unless it recently took fire damage. Oh, poor thing. This is this is cool. Super happy with this. This thing is awesome. I love this character. So what does she do though? She melee like uh Seven to thirty-five damage? Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay. I'm pretty convinced that your hero is going to be a good fit here. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, two target is too close. I was going to say it doesn't take. Bungle infestation charge. 
So that'll be it for this episode. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.